To make our first multi-part queue, let's take group three to full. And I want to home the color, color home, enter. And we will record Q37, enter. Now we're gonna go to blind and we want to be in spreadsheet view, looking at channels 51. At the moment, I don't need to see the non-intensity parameters. So I'm gonna hold shift and press format to hide those temporarily. To create our first part, we're going to select the channels we want to place into that part. So 51 through 53, part to enter and enter again to confirm the creation of that part. 54 through 56, part three, enter. And 57 through 59, part four, enter. Looking at our blind spreadsheet, we can see that the channels are colored in the parts that they're in and grayed out in the rest of the queue. This display convention is echoed in all of our live and blind displays. In our PSD, you can see there's a separate line for each part. So here we can add separate labels and timing for each of the parts. We can also create parts in live. Let's go to live and we're gonna go to Q2, enter. We're gonna take group two in color palette seven, enter. And let's bring those to full so we can see those a little bit better. And we're going to update this queue. So update, enter. I'm gonna press go into Q3. In this queue, we want to take channel 102, full enter. We want that to be in focus palette three and color palette five on our drummer over there. Let's select last, record part two with a time of one, enter, and enter to confirm. Now let's change group two's color. Let's press enter there and put them in color palette two, enter, there we go. Now I want to select last, color, record part three with a delay of five and enter again. If we clear our command line and press last a couple of times, we can see all three parts on our PSD. And we can see how each part has separate timing. Let's make a few changes to that timing and then we will run it. So we're gonna say Q3 times six, enter. Notice that that applies to part one since I didn't specify which part I want that to be assigned to. Part two, time three, enter. Part two, I'm gonna give a label, that's our drummer. So I'm just gonna label that part as drummer. Let's take a look at it. Let's go to Q2, enter. And once that's complete, go ahead and press go. We could have accomplished all of this using discrete timing, but using parts lets us expose that in our PSD a little bit more clearly with our labels and our timing right here on the surface.